Hey, Scouts. Dallas here, my good buddy Sebastian. It's uh, a bit rainy out. It is a bit rainy out, but we. Just, what do you want to do today, anyway? Well, I thought we could go camping. Well, I reckon we will go camping then. Um, but we're scouting from home, so where are we going to go camping? Maybe in our front yard or backyard? Sure, I'm, I'm down with that. So even if it's raining and it's scouting from home, we're still going to go camping? All right, well, the first thing I guess we have to do is find our campsite. Uh, let's go see if we can find one. Let's go. All right. Here? Sure. Well, Scouts, I guess if you're following along at home, um, the first thing you want to do is find your campsite. Now, I will tell you, Maybe you don't have a nice place to camp that's like in the woods. We don't either. But you can find a place that's maybe in your house or in your apartment or in your home. And you can you can basically camp from anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so <clears throat> the first thing you wanna do is locate a campsite. And um, if you're camping outside in your yard or wherever you happen to be, we wanna clear some of this stuff out. Like, you, want, you don't wanna be sleeping on a rock. No, 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 oh, hold your back. So let's look around and see if we're going to clear out our campsite. Let's see. All right, we got some sticks here. We're going to get those cleaned out. What's that? That's a rock. Holy cow. <laughs> look at that. A big old rock. Nobody wants to sleep on a rock, right? So if you're camping in your house, you want to like move, move all your toys out of the way. Get a nice place to camp, right? All right. We have a nice place to camp? Yep. Ready to go. All right. Well, what do you think? We're going to have to what? We're going to have to clear out some stuff. Clear out some stuff. Okay, I agree. While you're doing that, let me talk to uh, the, the scouts at home. So, Sebastian, like he said, we're going to have to like clear out our campsite. So you don't want to be sleeping on rocks and sticks and pokey things. Um, if you're in your home, then you want to also clear out like all your toys and stuff. Make make a nice space to, to a nice place to camp. So looks like Sebastian. What is what is that? Oh. It's a big big old rock. So you don't want to be sleeping on a big old rock, right? All right, so good. So we've had our place to camp. Next next uh, thing we need to do is set up our campsite, right? So it looks like we're going to have to clear a few sticks and rocks out. Yeah, we found our campsite, but it's got some things. Um, so if you're following along at home, and maybe you're camping inside or outside, wherever you're camping, just make sure you have a nice clear spot to camp in. So Sebastian's gonna pick up some of these sticks and rocks here, right? Yeah. And then, oh my gosh, what's this? Rock. It's a big old rock. So you don't want to be sleeping on that. That's going to hurt your back, all right? Yep, let's just toss those out of the way, and then we'll set up our uh, campsite, yeah? Yeah. All right. All right, Sebastian, we've got our uh, campsite picked out. Um, if you guys are camping from home or inside your, your home, remember, you can do this from anywhere. So maybe you want to set up like a, a blanket fort or a, a tarp tent or something like that. I'm going to get that here in a second. But I want to, let me ask you a question. Do you know why Cub Scouts like to camp so much? No. Because it's intense. <laughs> exactly. So if if you're camping from home and you're camping and you're, you you have a tent that your your uh, your grownups are okay with, go ahead and grab your tent. That's the only thing you're gonna need is just a tent. If you're camping from um, inside or you maybe don't have a tent laying around, go ahead and grab a tarp, which I have our big blue tarp, which I'll refer to as a big blue tarp from here on out or you can use a blanket you can use anything that will keep you covered up right now it's raining as you may be able to see um, so we're going to use our big blue tarp which is waterproof we're going to camp on our ground you also need um, some sort of rope or paracord or something like that and here in a second i'm going to show you um, when you guys pause your video to go get your supplies i'm going to go ahead and set up our rope across uh, between a fence post and a tree yeah, does that sound like a good idea? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. And so if you would like, go ahead and grab your supplies. If you're camping with just a tent, you're just gonna need your tent because it's intense. If you're camping with just your uh, your blanket or your tarp or something like that, you're gonna need some sort of uh, rope or line or something like that and a cover of some sort, which is, in my case, is a tarp. So, the big blue tarp. The big blue tarp, we'll wait right here. All right, well, we've gathered up our stuff. Hopefully you at home have gathered up your stuff, too. 
your supplies and your equipment. Um, if, like I said, if you're just setting up a tent, all you need is a tent. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in our tent bag. And this is a good time to talk about um, instructions. So every tent is different. Um, your tent may vary. Uh, unless you have the exact same tent that we have here at home, you're probably going to have a different tent. But all tents pretty much have sort of the same thing, the anatomy, which means the way they're built. So we have some tent poles right here. We're going to open those up. We have our actual tent, which we're going to get here in a second. setting up your tent at home and you're setting up say a blanket fort or a big blue tarp um, you, you may have to improvise so you're like hey Dallas I don't have any tent stakes like this right you can use a piece of wood you can use a stick you can use uh, stuffed animal tied to a string pretty much anything that's gonna hold your tent out in a like a sort of an a shape right yeah. yep what would you use Probably a rock. A rock, yeah, a rock would work really well. Yeah, anything that's just gonna hold anything out. If you happen to have a tent and you're using that tent, go ahead and, and, and use your stakes. Um, if you're using something that's not a tent, then you improvise, right? Do your best. It's the scout motto. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So if you're camping from home and you're not using a tent, but you're using like a big blue tarp or a blanket, something like that, as you can see, maybe we went ahead and put a light up across um, a tree and a fence post. So Sebastian and me are going to take this apart and we're going to put it over our line. Ready? Yep. Here we go. It's more windy out here than it was before. <laughs> <laughs> it's very windy, yeah. All right, so we got our line, or we got our tarp set up. And now. We're going to use our stakes to hold our edges of our tarp down. Now, if we don't have stakes and we don't have a tarp, or we're using like a blanket in our house, what are we going to use, Sebastian? Suggestions, please. Rocks, stuffed animals, whatever is heavy. Yeah, anything that can hold those edges out. And you watch, Sebastian is going to put this stake down in the ground. And as he's doing it, I want to notice he's going to put it in an angle. He's going to put it in an angle like this, right? Look at him go. Yeah. Great. Good job, Sebastian. Now let's work on this other one. All right, if you're scouting with a tent, which is very intense, right? Yep. Yes. So you're going to unpack your tent. You're going to notice there's lots of different parts of your tent. You're going to have your poles. You're going to have your actual tent. You may or may not have what's called a rain fly, which is the thing that goes on top of your tent, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, you're going to have your stakes and the bottom part of your tent is called the footprint or the ground cloth or something like that. So Sebastian and I are going to spread this thing out. Here we go. We're going to spread this out on the ground. You may need to stake it down, right? So we're just going to spread this out just like that. This is where our tent's going to sit. It's going to sit on our, our, our rain fly and it's going to keep anything from poking up through our tent. It's all going to keep the water from coming up through, right? We don't want water or pokey things coming up through our tent. So this is our, uh, our ground part. Next thing we're going to do is grab our actual tent and we're going to spread it out on top of our, uh, our ground flop here, right? All right, let's, let's grab that. Put this over here. We don't need the poles yet. We're not, we're not at pole section yet. So you're going to notice your tent is going to have some, some different parts. It's going to have a floor. My tent ha happens to have a yellow floor, and it's going to have a door. You may have one or two or three doors, but I know where the door is because it has a zipper on it, okay? So we're going to place our zippered door facing this direction. Now, why did I choose that? Because that's the east, and that's where the sun's going to come up, and I like to watch the sunrise. Right? All right, let's do it, Sebastian. We're going to put our floor to the bottom and our tent top for the top.
Excellent. So we have our tents sort of spread out on the ground. Um, like I said before, unless you have the exact same model tent as Sebastian and me do, uh, your tent's going to be different. So you're just going to want to put your tent floor on the bottom and your tent top on the top and your drawer facing the direction you want it to face. All right, our next step, and hopefully you're following along at home, is you're going to have some tent poles. Uh, those poles are going to come in many different forms. We have these poles that are made of uh, like aluminum and they have something called shock cord in there and it's going to basically hold the poles together. Uh, your poles are going to be maybe different, maybe the same, but we have these poles which is, Sebastian was really excited about before, right? Yes. This is the meat and bones of the whole thing. It's actually the bones. So we're going to put our poles into our tent. You may have a tent that has some sleeves that you need to slide those poles through. That's pretty standard. You're going to be, you know, sliding those poles through a tent. Uh, sleeve. Uh, my tent, however, has these little clips. And we're going to put our pole onto the tent using these using these clips like this. We're going to hook it in there like that, right? So your, your tent may have some sleeves that you need to slide that through. Your tent may be entirely different from mine. This is a good time to talk about. Also, you may find those instructions that I may have mentioned before that will tell you exactly how to set up your tent. But for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to clip our tent pole. We're going to put it together. Show them how to put it together, Sebastian. So, you have to push these in together. Yeah. So, if you, you, most tents are going to look like this with these poles. You're going to have this cord with these poles that kind of look like that. And as you can see, Sebastian is sort of putting those together. Yep, just like that. And that's what you're going to do with your tent poles. So go ahead and get your poles put together if you're following along at home, and we will be right back on how to hook these poles into our actual tent. So we have our tent poles assembled, which means we have them all put together here. So like I said before, your mileage may vary, but more than likely you have a tent pole that looks something like this. All right, so now we're either gonna insert those tent poles into our sleeves, or we're gonna just hook them into our thing. I like to talk about this first. This is my doohickey, and this is my doohacky. Your tent may have a doohickey and a doohacky, so we're gonna hook those two things together like that. Bam, just like that. And now we're gonna hook my little hooky things into the pole. So Sebastian's gonna start up here, I'm gonna start back here. We're just gonna basically hook these little hooks into our poles. Yep, there we go. All right, so we got our poles all set up here. Um, this is like the skeleton of your tent. It's what holds everything in place. So either you got it through your sleeves or you have it through your clips or whatever you have going on with your own personal tent at home. So now the next part is we're gonna put the bottom of our poles through the grommets in the floor of our tent. So I think Sebastian's gonna go ahead and start working on that. As you can see here, yep, your tent probably has some grommets on the bottom and you can probably see that there that goes through there like that and then if you'll come around to this side you can see we're going to do the same thing on the other side so we're going to go ahead and put this one through this one you might have to do a little bit of gymnastics here things get a little bit difficult because you're keeping everything nice and tight and taut and so he puts that through there now this one this one is yeah this is the hardest one we have to put the last one through the last grommet now my tent particularly has only three of these your tent if it's a dome tent may have five six seven eight twelve of these so we're going to stick this one to the very last one now i'm going to give sebastian a hand doing this all right so turn around here let's get this done here we go last one. Oh, come on you can do it very difficult yes all right so we got that done cool so now we have the skeleton of our tent set up all right, so we've come to the point where we have our whole skeleton of our tent set up. We have our footprint down. We have our tent ready to rock. The next thing we're gonna do in my particular tent is we're gonna have to put some stakes in the ground to keep everything nice and tight and taut out on the edges, right? Okay, so Sebastian's gonna put his stakes in the front. I'm gonna put my stakes in the back and we're just gonna make everything nice and tight. So as you do these stakes, I want you to remember 
if you're following along at home, you're going to take the stake and you're going to point it in this direction toward the tent, right? That's going to keep everything from falling out. If you, if you try to do it this way, as you can see, the line's going to just all fall off of here. We're going to keep it this direction so everything doesn't fall apart. Look at that. Perfect. We got our footprint nice and ready to go. I'm going to come over to the other side. Same thing on this side, and Sebastian's doing the same thing on his side. Is we're finding our our point of our tent, and we are pointing that thing in this direction, just sticking it in the ground. Now, if you have some really hard ground, you may have to like uh, figure out a way to get this stake in the ground without bending it. I bet um, if you look in your stake bag, you may have some stakes that are bent. All right, so we're going to be careful. One trick that I have for you guys at home is go ahead and take your foot, stick on top of it, and just sort of push gently down in there. You may even have to use a mallet or something to hammer that down in there, but just be careful and don't bend your stake. Don't break your stick, right? All right, so it looks like we got a pretty good uh, staked out tent right here. Next step is we're gonna put the rain fly on. All right, scouts, we have assembled this tent. Um, if it's gonna be a really nice night out and you wanna like maybe look at the stars or it's maybe it's gonna be a little hot, you can leave this part off. This is the rain fly. It's called a rain fly because it's gonna keep the rain off of your tent. So it's raining now, so we're gonna put this on, but you can, you can sort of put that over your tent to make a, uh, a, a rainproof cover. So this is our rain fly. Um, I think we've had some really good practice, right? Yep. So. Um, this is our practice for our virtual camporee, which is coming on May 2nd. I hope to see you all at our virtual camporee. I know Sebastian and myself are going to be there. We would love to see all of our scouts out there. So if it's having to be raining, we are going to be prepared. And we're going to put this rain fly on our tent in case we have to camp in the rain, right? All right, here we go. Let's do this. guys um, I know where my rain fly goes because it has a door and I know it has a door because like I mentioned before it has a zipper so your rain fly is probably different than my own rain fly that I have in my own personal tent here um, as you can see it's windy it's raining but we have our rain fly hooked up because I know the front is here your rain fly may be a lot different it may just be one big um, sort of dome shaped thing you can put on your tent but if it's going to rain, if it's going to be like wet at night, make sure you put your rain fly put on there. And as you can see, our tent has these little clips here that we hook those into. And your tent may be similar or it may have something entirely different. It may even have these uh, lines that run out like this that you can hook into a, a different stake. So just if it's going to be wet, it's going to be rainy, if it's going to be cold, go ahead and put your rain fly on and you will be much more comfortable with that. Pretty good. So that actually thinks it's pretty good. If he thinks it's pretty good, I think it's pretty good. So we have a nice uh, setup tent here. Like I said, your tent's going to be different than mine. But uh, some of the main points to look at, uh, Cup Scouts, listen, nice and tight. Everything is nice and tight here. We got our, our stakes. Everything is tight, so we're going to keep the rain off. I bet you can see at home this rain is sort of beating off our rain fly. We can walk around here. Everything's nice and tight. We got a nice, beautiful tent that is set up and ready for our camp out. Now, if you're not setting up an actual tent, you're setting up something like at your, at your home, you might have a big blue tarp, or you may have a blanket or something like that, just to set up nice and tight as well, right? So everything's nice and tight, the rain's falling right off here, so we can sleep in this tonight, right? Yep. All right, uh, let's see, anything else? Nope. Noth nothing else, so hope you guys are continuing to scout from home. Um, we are going to join you May 2nd for our virtual camp out, right? Yeah. And we're, we're, we'll be there. We'll be, we'll be sleeping under this very same tent. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.